in Rajasthan, the last of five election-bound states in the first leg of assembly elections, the desert state goes to polls on November 25th. In the run-up to elections, parties are renewing promises to the voters and long-standing issues once again steal the limelight. All eyes are now on the northern state, which has an over 52 million strong voter base. Rival parties, the Indian National Congress and the ruling Bharatiya Janta Party are carrying out rallies to woo the voters in a last leg effort. Now, Rajasthan has a slew of issues which will drive the voters this time around. On priority are problems faced by Rajasthan's farming community, especially the difficulties faced by them in claiming crop insurance. Farmers in the region say that the claim is obtainable only by those who fight with the administration and insurance companies. But the one state problem common to all voters in Rajasthan is water. In summer, heat waves had triggered a drinking water crisis in the state. But the issue of access to water is not new to the region. The desert state is the most water deficient state in the country. And it seems the situation has not improved drastically. हमारे पास भी पानी नहीं है वो तो सर गवर्नमेंट ने एक मोटर लगवाई वो खराब हो गई अब की बार भी घर घर में उगाई करके दूसरी मोटर डलवाई अब भी नहीं आता उसमें तो पानी हम तो इनसे पीते अब खुदन परिवार उनकी खराब होगी बस ऐसे ही पीते नल किसी की बिजली की मोटर है उनसे भर लेते हैं आसपास में मोल का पानी भर भर के पिए वो तो टैंकर डलवा लेते हैं ये समस्या for voters across economic strata and regions in Rajasthan, access to drinking water remains a problem that exercises influence over the ballot. हमारा जो कचहरी के पास जो एरिया लगता है, उसमें आप पानी की समस्या देखिए। पानी पीने को नहीं है। अब यार सुबह आप देखिए सड़कों पे ड्राम रखे हुए थे, और टैंकरों से पानी सप्लाई हो रहा है। और कहाँ बात हो रही थी चंबल का पानी आएगा या कोई मतलब ही नहीं ह Political parties are also batting heads over the water crisis in Rajasthan as a corruption scandal on water distribution unfolds in the region. We are talking about the Jal Jivan mission and allegations of a large-scale corruption scandal that runs into millions of dollars. The water scam has become the eye of a political storm between BJP and Congress. Both party leaders accuse the other of financial irregularities, triggering a series of raids by India's Enforcement Directorate. Now, as the political storm hits up in Rajasthan, let's take a quick look at how the state voted in 2018 assembly elections. Let's start with Congress won the election in 2018 by scoring 39.8%. That's the BJP here, which, scored, which came in second at 39.3%. And we have other parties, the India Party and others, which scored 11.3% and 9. 6% respectively. In absolute numbers, out of 199 seats, Congress won 99 seats, whereas BJP won 73 seats in the state. Independent candidates won 13 seats in Rajasthan, while other parties only managed 14 seats cumulatively. All right, let's uh, link to our correspondent, Anania Data, who has the latest from the state of Rajasthan, let's understand the politics in Rajasthan and our correspondent Ananya Data has sent us this report. We have reached the Indian state of Rajasthan. This is a land full of color, castles and intense politics. Interestingly, this state is also known as the desert state of India. But more often than not, the shifting sands reach the political arena. For 30 long years, the voters of Rajasthan have unseated the incumbent government every single time. Bharatiya Janata Party and the Indian National Congress have taken their turns, but the voters seem to be divided. 25th November is the day for the voting. So stay with me. I'm Ananya Datta and with me is video journalist Alka Sahu. We are going to decode these divided lines for Vion World is One. Weon is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.